Hi, Kari. Happy Friday. How are you doing today? Good. Thank you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Look at you with your fantastic picture behind you. Look, I don't know if you knew. I'm in the show too now. I'm just saying. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I am so excited that I get to talk to you today because you have directed on some of my favorite TV shows. Boardwalk Empire, The Borgias, Vikings, just look, you know your resume, but you have delivered some of the best television episodes, so I'm so excited that I get to talk about The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, um, but I wanted to know specifically, how has, you know, delivering some of the best, you know, hour-long dramas and action film, action series, also to working on The Punisher, how has that prepared you for The Falcon and the Winter Soldier? Well, you know, I think every every creative, um, every person has really a sum of all their parts, right? So every experience that you have feeds the, feeds the ticker. And um, so I think uh, all of those, all that work kind of came into a, in, I felt like I could draw from a lot of different boxes, um, a lot of different skill sets uh, to bring, you know, the vision to this, this show, which wanted to have, you know, very epic, action, lots of character drama, lots of character humor. Um, you know, so it really, I, I think I drew from every project that I've ever worked on. I, I found something, some little nugget that I, I'm sure I accessed, you know, in the synapses of it all. But also, to, I mean, when you first found out that you were going to be directing the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, what was that as creators? We always have that one piece of us that we want to leave on project, projects that we work on. What was that piece of you that you left on the Falcon and Winter Soldier? I hope um, I left a everybody thinking, uh, you know, from an intellectual, besides the visual of it, which I hope I, I pushed the envelope uh, cinematically uh, in in wherever I could. Um, I would like to think that we leave people pondering uh, all, the, all the different topics and subjects that we embrace in this story, uh, which had to do with, you know, Sam's exploration of what it's going to be to be a black man carrying the shield. Should he take on the shield? Should he not take on the shield? Bucky and his exploration of his personal journey, uh, which is full of trauma and who is he going to be? How is he going to be? Um, you know, what's next for him? He's a, he's a man who's cut adrift. Um, and also, most importantly, what is it to be a hero? And I think that is at the core of all the conversations that we have in, in, the, uh, in this story is the, the exploration of what does a hero look like in 2021? And um, it's different for everyone, obviously. Uh, so if we've opened up that door of discussion, then then, I, then my job. You know, it's interesting that you bring that up because, you know, even though I'm so wowed by the action sequences, it's really the character development that stood out with me from the first episode. We really get to finally explore not only the ramifications of what is happening in game, but also to the emotional ramifications that is led for especially our two main characters, um, but also too with them, you know, in this new branch of life that they're going into really of them having to reconcile with how being a superhero and putting everyone else first how that has really led to them for the first time having to deal with their trauma um, I really wanted to know how were you able to balance all of that in these episodes because it's really those character pieces that really stood out to me while watching it well yes and you know we also have two men who are cut adrift uh, from their former lives to some degree and also have to figure out, are they gonna be friends? Why are they gonna be friends? You know, uh, so it's also a little bit, you know, the identity, not just the identity crisis of them as individuals, but you know, what is family? What is, uh, when you should have a common shared experience, how does that propel you forward? Um, and should you, should you know people from your past? You know, what is that? So I think, um, this particular story takes on as many of those character driven in six hours you're able to do that it's very hard to do it in a feature i i call it you know it's the it's the meal versus the snack the feature is kind of a snack now and mm -hmm. and uh you know the series is the meal so when you sit down at the meal you're able to savor it just a little bit more here and there so we're able to go with them we're able to go with sam and you know in episode one 
to his his life, his personal life. We've never been able to do that before in right. such significant, um, uh, you know, significant time with him. Uh, who, who, what, what's his kinship? You know, who does he come from? Uh, same with Bucky, who, of course, you know, is um, cut adrift by his past. Now he has to figure out his future. Um, what does that look like as a, as really, you know, a lonely man who's trying to find a, a, his place? So these are very common universal ideas, no matter whether you're a superhero or not, uh, or simply a you know regular person like you and I, they're grappling with very human issues. And, and that I think makes them not just endearing, but very um, accessible for everybody. So, uh, you know, it's a wonderful conversation to have through, through entertainment. Yeah, and I, I know that we can't talk spoilers, um, but I do wanna ask you, you know, going into this project, was there one specific character that you actually can talk about that you were most excited um, to flesh out and to be able to bring a new version of these characters that we've been used to seeing, you know, the past 10 years? Oh my goodness. I, you know, I can't tell you I have a favorite uh, because they were all my favorites. Um, daily, uh, they all surprised me. You know, I have to say, Anthony Mackey is um, a, just a wonderful gentleman super thoughtful, so is Sebastian, um, you know, Daniel Brühl, I, they're all amazing people who brought um, very, very thoughtful um, sides to their character every day. They really, um, you know, looked at the whole series, explored, we did a lot of ad lib. Um, I would say really watching each character unfold was, was joyful because you know where you start and where you end up are two different places because right. you know we were shooting over a year so you you people change the characters change and evolve and you get to watch them and be part of that not just for the show but for you know them as people so um, I'd like to say that uh, not only did they all become my friends um, through it all but uh, seeing how what Sam goes through and what Bucky goes through from a just straight human place, uh, I thought was exhilarating. Um, yeah, so I, I have no favorite ch children in this one. Uh, they are all, <laughs> they are all, hey, uh, yeah. That is a good answer. You can't ever have a favorite. Um, but I do want to ask you where, speaking specifically with the first episode, what was like your favorite scene to film? Oh goodness, that's a hard one too, because every scene, you know, I make every scene my favorite for different reasons. Um, you know, it's just like um, Bucky talking to the, the psychiatrist uh, it has its trickiness because it's very intimate and it's two people in a room. And um, you know, how do you uh, how do you uh, capture all the nuances of of what those performances need to be to to dig inside uh, that brain? Um, at the same time, you know, filming the uh, people jumping out of planes and and the opening sequence of uh, yeah. sort of high octane, um, you know, classic great Marvel entry into this into this world um, uh, was also, you know, just absolutely a blast to shoot. So everything has its its uh, very um, particular needs and wants as a scene unfolds. The characters, the the nature of the um, of, of just the filmmaking itself, because obviously a big action sequence is is quite particular in how you have to come at it. Um, there's a lot of research that goes into every scene, whether it be what looks like a very simple scene. Um, there's a whole, you know, months of research or sometimes rehearsal or, you know, scripting, rescripting. So everything is very sculpted by the time we get there. So um, uh, I don't know. I enjoy it. Once again, I think I don't have any favorite children in that race. I, I would say every scene I walk in, <laughs> like, oh my God, I can't believe that that was so much fun. Well, no, it was so much fun watching this first episode. I am so excited for everyone to watch. I had a blast watching the first one and I can't watch, wait to watch the rest of the season. So thank you so much for taking the time uh, to speak to me. Glad you enjoyed it so much. I, I'm glad thank you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it. 